Welcome to another episode of Solitaire Quest. My name is Why the Fuck Am I Doing This to Myself? And I am reviewing another episode of Rings of Power. <coughs> so, yeah. Let's get into this, folks. So yeah, this episode is called Undun. We got a previously in Sand intro. Yeah. So yeah, the orcs are touching the ground. There's clearly a elf leading a warlord, a war band of orcs. Yeah. No. Hold on a moment. So yeah. So yeah, they show up at the tower and it's empty. Don Lemon and Don Lemon destroys a perfectly defendable structure. So yeah. So yeah, if you wanted to hold out against the orcs, uh, why aren't you holding out at a fucking defendable structure? So yeah, I paused the at this point. I paused the video. Yeah, we got a last stand in a village that can only be attacked on all sides. Tower clearly built to be destroyed, if not clearly a terrible design. And yeah, how did the orcs not notice the vil the villagers holding up in the village? They would have had to have walked past the village. Or march past the village to then get to the towers. How did they not notice? And yeah, resume. That was at this point, in the vi I had to pause and play and whatnot. The vid, pause and play the vid video. We got some kids, feed some uh, horse. Guy Lagio speaks with the stable sweep. The kid is seeing the sun. Numenor armor looks like it's all made of ceramics for reasons. The queen is leading the army. Don Lemon tries to break the key. Apparently the position gives apparently their position gives them an advantage in the village the orcs must cross a bridge in order to attack the village no, they just have to walk across no they can just walk through whatever rivers there they don't need to use the bridge we got emotional plati padding and fluff and more padding we got a nighttime attack. This is important, folks. There are women and children. Why don't they flee past the tower? It's like the f we got a fire cart to start the attack. So they attack the orcs. The black guy with the ch we got a black guy with a chain on his neck. And if orcs are now suddenly black people, doesn't that mean it's like black on black violence? We got Don Lemon failing to kill an orc and a woman does it. This guy should be trained for cent this guy should have over a century's worth of training. He should be an orc killing machine. But no. So yeah, they fend him off somehow. 
and there are humans amongst the orcs. Bun up, bun. So yeah, the orcs have are now an integrated fighting force. How progressive, instead of enslaving the humans or eating them. Yes, you have an integrated orc fighting force with humans. Why are they not enslaving them or eating the, or eating the humans? So yeah, we got orc archers show up. And and now they're in force. They hold up in the pub. We got an emergency arrow surgery with burning wood as opposed to hot metal. So, yeah. So to cauter the cauterized wound with ho hot wood. It's like you might as well have just left the arrow in there. I mean, yeah. And, you know, like, get some hot metal to, to cauterize a wound, but yeah. It's nighttime and the orcs attack the pub. Morning time, and it's, on, it's a cut to morning time, and all the 300 Numenorians are running in. They're cut and paste. Soldiers. We got they they make their way to the coast. They make their way from the coast to Mordor in less than a day. And now it's it's very clearly nighttime. And the first orc guy finds the key. So we got time dilation, and now it's daytime. Orcs now have no problem with the sun. Don Lemon and Galadriel finally meet. The guy takes the key, but gets his uh, hand stabbed by not Sauron. Sauron tries to find secret powers. Galadriel wants to genocide all the orcs and wants to save the one guy for last. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. Oh, this is supposed to be our sympathy. We're supposed this is supposed to be the main character of the story who wants to genocide all the orcs. So, yeah. Not Sauron pulls Galadriel back. They celebrate in a village not burning down. That's not burned down to the ground. Not Sauron is the king now. Uh, the kids should not feel guilt. The kid is given a hatchet. The old guy puts the key into the rock to open a dam. We got horse bonds exist apparently. So yeah, we got some wells exploding with water. So yeah, we got water falls into a volcano to cause it to erupt. Yeah, that's not... All the water would turn into fucking steam. All the water would turn into steam. It would explode... So, yeah, if anything, you would get a, a shot of steam out of the top of the volcano, and that's it, till the water ran out. It wouldn't cause, it wouldn't cause the volcano to erupt. Also, also... It's like, if it was magic water that was... So the water is now imbued with evil magic. And it hits a volcano. And that causes it to erupt. Okay, so why, why didn't the guy 
instead of putting the the sword in a rock to make the water evil to cause the volcano to erupt why why doesn't the sword just have the power to make the volcano erupt it's like you grab the sword you put it towards the volcano it erupts or something like that i don't know so yeah volcano erupts and Gyladriel walks into a pyroclastic flow. This is the same thing that destroyed Pompeii. This, a pyroclastic flow is something that would kill you instantly. Yeah. So yeah, Gyladriel literally walks right into it. Right into it. Somehow... She survives a pyroclastic flow. Somehow. Yeah, no. It Nowhere in the Lord of the Rings is it stated, or the Silmarillion, that Galadriel can uh, withstand a volcano exploding in front of her fucking face. Nowhere in the canon does it say that. Last I checked, volcanoes pretty much kill everything in their path. So, why? You have a volcano, why is Guy Ladriel volcano proof? Why? So yeah, I wrote down my notebook. So she's dead and everyone is dead. And this story, <laughs> this series can end. But no, there's more. There's more. So yeah, Galadriel should be dead. There's no escaping. There's no escaping that. And, and yeah, we're going to watch the episode after this episode. So yeah, folks, more insanity to come. I'm the Blood Knight of the Old Republic of Blood Ganistan. Like, share, and subscribe. Stay frosty, stay sexy San Diego. Get your jewels in one where you can. I am a spaceman. Invest in GameStop. Support Gina. Peace out.